first 3.5 kilometers, our walk starts from kilometer 3 plus 0, 0. It ends, it ends at kilometer 36 plus 0, 0. This project was actually awarded in 2009 under the presidential intervention. The contract was actually to repair the very, very bad spots of the road. As at that time, those terrible spots were only about 15 kilometers. We were not too lucky with the first contract of Bulletin Nigeria Limited, so there was no reasonable progress. At the beginning of last year, the ministry brought in another contractor, Uniglobe Nigeria Limited. They are the one you can see working right here now. There has been very considerable improvement since then. You can see them working. If you were here some months ago, the people of Ebony State would testify to how terrible this road was. But today, at least, we are better off. The contract is ongoing. But I want to remark that uh, the contract is not comprehensive enough. The contract did not cover the entire length of the road. It was not done in bad faith. And at the time this contract was awarded, the road was not as bad as this. If the initial contractor started work the way we wanted it, it would have been delivered. But over four years, there are very, very more terrible defects on the road now. And we are making presentations to the headquarters that the contract should be looked into again. So that before this man parks out, on si out of sight based on the existing contract, we can possibly do a review and cover the entire road. The second section of the road is being handled by another contractor. That's from Kilometer Tatsis by the Chinese uh, Construction Company Limited. They are doing very well. They are about 80% completion now. If you are privileged to pass through that road, you will see it yourself. Uh, Honorable Mr. Your Excellency, sir, this is the situation of this road. Thank you, sir. Yes, the contractor is here. You know, this is the project manager for the contract. Yes, Okay. Um, engineer Anselmi Jebo is my name, the project manager, Uniglobe Construction. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Ebony State, Chief Martin Enelichi, the Honorable Minister of Information, all other protocols duly and respectfully observed. Uh, as you can see from the explanation given by the Controller of Works, uh, Ebony State Field Headquarters, Engineer Femi Oyekomi, the section one of this road which we are handling is about 36 kilometers uh, in length with uh, 2.75 uh, meters uh, wide shoulders on either side of the road like he said the contract is inadequate owing to the fact that not all sections of the road not the entire road is going to be fully uh, rehabilitated about uh, 15 kilometers of the road is on full rehabilitation 10 kilometers is expected to be asphalt overlay, while the remaining 10 kilometers is not to be touched at all. Sometime uh, last year, uh, some people from the Federal Ministry of Works uh, visited and a proposed augmentation of the project was submitted to them. But as I'm speaking right now, we are still awaiting uh, approval of this augmentation from the Honorable Minister of Works. But from what you can see going on now, the scope of works on this road includes the uh, scarification, pulverization, uh, laying of stone base, laying of uh, the binder course of asphalt and the wearing course. The stage we have now at this section, the uh, binder, the binder course of asphalt is what is going on, is done, be done to standard to 60 mm thickness and uh, load at the required temperature. While the stone base that you can see, the one we are standing on, is expected to be 200 mm. But what you have on ground here, if you do curry now, you discover that it's even a little uh, more than that 200 mm thickness, just to ensure that the specification is followed. Thank you. Well, um, thank you very much. Your Excellency, uh, distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, first of all, uh, Bulletin happens to be one of the worst contractors on Nigerian roads. We don't know how they came in. Bulletin they happened to be one of the worst contractors. We have sacked them from this side and they also sacked in several other sites uh, in the country. Bulletin, since I got to know them, uh, even in Nasrawa State, they never did any good job to anybody's satisfaction. So the Federal Minister of Works revoked this contract from bulletin and they awarded it 
Tuni Globe Nigeria Limited, and we're happy now that there is a better work here, more progress, more professional job being done here, as we can see. Secondly, I don't like to hear about augmentation. That's been part of our federal problems. If you have a job, just discharge a quarter that's been given to you and leave on time. Or this idea that you are doing one job and you are delaying and waiting for another, uh, no. Because when the road was designed and awarded, it was a different contract. So what we expect the contractors to do presently is to finish this job well. So if you qualify because of the quality, then we will uh, consider the next uh, session of the road. But this idea of uh, adding one section to another at the end, you don't know the first section is not delivered. I'm sure that is the problem. So you have a contract to execute with the Federal Minister of Works. Rush and finish it. Once you finish this section with a different contract, then the other sections of the road that have now become due uh, for review, that will be awarded. We prefer to say that the job that is given to you, discharge it on time. So that you don't uh, work on one job and are thinking of another job. So do this one properly. Let us see how you will do it. If it is good quality, then it will easily qualify you since you are already on site. But when augmentations come, most of the time, they delay jobs. Uh, so we think that it's better to deliver the section that are given to you and drive fast to make sure that it's delivered on time. And uh, while the Federal Minister of Works is working on the other sections of the road, let this section be delivered. I think that's the contract you have with us now. I'm sure the other ones will come because of the circumstances under which this road was afforded. Uh, yes, if there are questions. Otherwise, I think if everywhere you are doing is like this, or sometimes you carry us to where... Uh, <laughs> yeah, you, know, you carry us to where you want us to see. So we just hope that everywhere will be like this. Eh? It's like this. Anyway, you are the consultant. I'm the controller, I'm not the consultant. I excuse, uh, sir, we are not even aware that you are coming, sir. Because the program we had is uh, Obiozara, Oboro to Ishiagu. So it was a surprise visit. I'm happy you met it like this. We didn't prepare for your coming. This is what they do every day they are working. Sorry, yes, sir. We are doing our work, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry. Thank you very much. So much. That's what we've observed, you know, the, the drainages. What are you doing about that to concretize it so that rainfall, water, would uh, pass easily without affecting what you're doing here? This is not a drainage. This is the shoulders. The shoulders will still be filled and come back for water to flow away. Thank you.